Hey everyone, I'm Kyle Yates of the Fantasy Pros Football Podcast. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can find our brand new content every week at youtube.com slash fantasy pros, as well as on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow while you're there. Let's get right to it because today we're continuing our video series where we look at stashes and streamers heading into week 10. By now, you most likely know what this video is about. However, for those who are just checking it out, I want to take a brief second to explain. I will lay out five players here that you should be considering stashing heading into week 10 in the event that they turn into a reliable fantasy asset down the road. Additionally, I'll also focus in on five players that you can add now to stream in week 11 to help you get ahead of the waiver wire rush. Let's look at five players you can stash heading into week 10. Number five, Tremaine Pope, running back, Los Angeles Chargers. Pope was inactive in week 9, but there seems to be optimism that he'll be back in the lineup for week 10. Pope was getting plenty of work while he was on the field, but there's even more incentive now to pick up the explosive running back. Justin Jackson is dealing with his own injury. At the time of recording, we don't have any clarity yet on what exactly Jackson's injury is or how substantial it may end up being. If Jackson is forced to miss time, Pope would step right in as the receiving down back in this offense and could be a viable fantasy option week in and week out. He's worth adding to your roster if you have the space, and he's available on every waiver wire out there, as he's only 1% rostered in Yahoo Leagues. Number 4, Jakeem Grant, wide receiver, Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins now have a huge hole at wide receiver to fill with Preston Williams landing on IR. Grant's an extremely explosive player who can easily break off a long play at any time. He should see an uptick in snaps and targets in this offense now, and he's worth stashing heading into this week to see exactly what his role in this offense looks like with Williams out of the picture. Number 3, Jordan Reed, tight end, San Francisco 49ers. Reed was surprisingly activated before last week's game, and he did next to nothing as he only ran six total routes. Moving forward, the 49ers have a desperate need for a steady receiving presence in this offense. Reed's worth adding to your roster in the event that he gets peppered with targets in this offense. It's hard to trust him in your starting lineup this week, but he could absolutely turn into someone that you plug into your lineup on a weekly basis down the road. Number 2, Rashad Penny, running back, Seattle Seahawks. Do you remember Rashad Penny? He's been recovering from his torn ACL and has been on the pup list for the entire season so far. However, just recently, Penny posted on social media that he's getting close to returning to the field. The Seahawks desperately need Penny, and fantasy managers desperately need a starting running back right now. Penny's probably still a few weeks away from returning, but it's good to get him on your radar now so you can stash him before the rest of your league starts to notice. Number 1, Malcolm Brown, running back, Los Angeles Rams. Coming off of a bye, Brown's worth mentioning again as someone that you should stash heading into this weekend's games. Daryl Henderson was forced to leave their game two weeks ago early with an injury, and we have no news yet on what his status will be for this game. While I expect Henderson to play, Brown is one injury away from being a starting running back in a run-heavy offense. He's worth holding on to the bottom of your bench just in case. Let's now look at five players that you can add to stream in week 11. Number five, Derek Carr, quarterback, Las Vegas Raiders. On paper, Carr has a very tough matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs in Week 11. However, the last time that these two teams played, Carr threw for 347 yards and three touchdowns. He's unlikely to do enough to finish in the top 12 next week, but he's someone that you can add now as a low-end streaming option. Number 4, Minnesota Vikings, DST. The Vikings get to take on the Dallas Cowboys in Week 11. While it's likely that Andy Dalton comes out of concussion protocol by then, let's not pretend that Dalton was playing at a high level previously. The Vikings have been torched this season by opposing offenses, but they should be able to get a couple of turnovers in this one, which puts them on the low-end streaming radar. Number 3, Irv Smith, tight end, Minnesota Vikings. If you're in need of a tight end streamer for Week 11, there are a couple of options that I like. Smith has seen his role in this offense continue to grow, and he has a great matchup here against the Cowboys defense. Smith should see enough targets to be viewed as a safe streaming option, but he also has a great opportunity to find the end zone yet again here. Number 2, Kirk Cousins, quarterback, Minnesota Vikings. That's right, we're going right back to the Vikings here yet again. Why wouldn't we when they have a great matchup? Anyway, Cousins should be viewed as a borderline top 12 option in week 11 with this matchup against the Cowboys secondary that is currently bleeding fantasy points to opposing offenses. 
He's going to be a hot waiver wire ad, so if you're looking for a streamer in week 11, it's a smart idea to add him now. Number one, Logan Thomas, tight end, Washington. Thomas has been hit or miss this season, but he gets a fantastic matchup in week 11 against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals have had a tough time stopping any opposing tight ends this season, so if you're looking for a streaming option, Thomas has to be at the top of the list. He has an excellent chance of finding the end zone in this matchup. Thank you for tuning in to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments section below. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.